Well, hey, what's going on, guys? This is Mr. Owensby. Uh, we are starting our new unit today. This is our PowerPoint one on the Arians, and I'll be doing your reading today. So we welcome everybody from Team 7, 8, and 9. Uh, we have our music video for you for the day, guys. I do highly recommend that you watch your video. Uh, you will learn more and more about the content, and you will see more and more understanding of the video as you go forward. And this is the one, of course, that's to the tune of Drake. Uh, you see I include the meme there. All right, well, let's get started. Okay, the Aryans. The Aryans were invaders from Central Asia who began moving into India via the Hindu Kush mountains around the same time that the Harappan civilization began to collapse. They were skilled warriors, expert horse riders and hunters. The Aryans used chariots and iron weapons to conquer large amounts of territory in the Indus and Ganges River valleys. By 1200 BC, they had taken control of almost all of Northern India. The Aryans, they invented the plow to help clear India's many jungle and built canals. As the photo on top shows you, second bullet. In the north, farmers grew grain such as millet, barley, and wheat. In the south, pepper, ginger, and cinnamon was grown. And rice was grown in the river valleys. Early Aryans did not have a written language. Instead, they spoke a language called Sanskrit, which they told stories about their religious beliefs and history. Eventually, Sanskrit was developed into written language, which has allowed scholars to learn a great deal about the Aryan society. You see, I've included a photo of what Sanskrit would look like once it was put into writing. The Aryans did not have a single leader. Instead, each village was ruled by a leader called a Raja, who owned all the land in the surrounding area. Rajas would allow other people to farm this land in return for a share of their crops. Warfare amongst the Rajas was common as they fought with each other for land, power, and resources. We've included a YouTube video here to watch that will show you a little more about how the people of India were affected when the Aryans came in. Uh, the southern living peaceful people were attacked by the more warrior-like Aryans. We see some differences. Before, they were nomadic. But after, they settled. After the Aryans, they were, before the Aryans, they were cattle herders. After, they became agriculturalists. Before the Aryans, they did not have a written language. After, the cattle is worshipped. Before, history was, was preserved in oral poems and song. After the arrival, history was written in the Vedas. Before, religion was dominated by warring storm gods and sky gods. After, religion became Hinduism. And a caste system was put into place, which we're going to show you here in a moment. Here's our music video link again. Now, the Aryans developed what's called a caste system. Definition. Caste is a social group that someone is born into and cannot change. Caste dictates what job you will have, whom you can marry, and whom, with whom you can eat. So this system is very strict, as we see the picture on the right. What was the, why was the caste system created? One, Aryans thought they were better than the dark-skinned people in India. Two, it helped them stay in control of India. The photo I've included shows how the pigment was affected so greatly by the Aryans moving into the area that it lightened the skin for generations to come to this day. 
there's levels in the caste system. It's called Varna. That's the four classes. The Brahmins were on top. That's priest, the only people who can perform religious ceremonies. Below them are the Kshatravas, warriors, rulers. They ran the government and the army. Our third level, Bazia, common people. Farmers and merchants. And below them are the Sudras. They're manual laborers and servants, and they had few rights. However, beneath all of these levels, we have what's called the untouchables. Untouchables did not belong to the Varna. They performed dirty work, which is collecting trash, skinning animals, and handling the dead bodies. Here's an example of our four classes, but the untouchables, not really part of this. The, the Brahmin on top, Kshatriyas were second, Bazias below them, the Shudras would be on the bottom. And here's some examples of our rules for the untouchables in this society. Now, I'm not going to read this entire slide to you, but I will read the introduction. It says, in traditional Indian society, untouchables were often associated with jobs thought of as being impure, such as anything involving leather work, butchering, or removal of rubbish, animal carcasses, and waste. Untouchables worked as manual laborers cleaning streets, latrines, and sewers. These activities were considered to be polluting to the individual, and this pollution was considered contagious. As a result, untouchables were commonly segregated from other castes and had many prohibitions or bans on what they were allowed to do. And you see there's many things they could not do. Uh, the first one says they, could not, they shall not eat with other caste members. So things of that nature. Uh, they cannot enter the villages or temples down the list. They cannot ride animals in the village further down the list. You see further down, the children must be separated in school from other students. So these people were really looked upon in a very, very negative way. But the caste system continues to be practiced in many parts of India today. Although discrimination is much lower than in the past, outbreaks of violence against untouchables do still occur, often in more traditional rural areas. So... All right, but that's our readings for this section, guys. Hope you did excellent on your Ed Puzzle. And be sure to go back and take notes of any things you see highlighted in yellow. Uh, those will be items you'll want to know specifically for the exam, right? But have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.